Hi, boys and girls. This is Miss Coker. I was at Food Lion the other day, and I got super excited. They're having a huge sale on Takis. And each bag only costs 20 hundredths of a dollar. Based on this sales price, how many bags of Takis do you think you could buy with one dollar? Pause the video here and take a minute to grapple with this problem. If you need a hint, press play. Okay, here's your hint. This problem could be solved with either division or repeated subtraction. Again, pause the video and take a minute to grapple with this problem. As our hint suggests, you can solve this problem by dividing or repeatedly subtracting 20 hundredths to see how many times we can take 20 hundredths from a whole dollar. To help visualize this, let's start with a whole dollar. Now, let's break this dollar into hundredths. Then, we're going to repeatedly take away 20 hundredths of the dollar. Here's 20 hundredths, 20 hundredths, 20 hundredths, 20 hundredths, 20 hundredths. We repeatedly subtracted or divided and found that one whole divided by 20 hundredths equals 5. Now let's try solving this problem a different way. Let's start by writing one divided by 20 hundredths. Remember, this one just represents our one dollar. You know, we could also write this problem this way, one divided by 20 hundredths. You know, for me, it's really tricky to divide with a decimal. Did you know that you can just shift or move the decimal out of the way? But this only works if you compensate, meaning you have to do the exact same thing to both numbers in the division problem. So I'm going to shift or move this decimal out of the way by shifting it two times to the right. One, two. Oh, well that already feels better. Dividing by 20 seems a little bit easier to me. But now we need to compensate by doing the exact same thing to our other number, the dividend. Now since one, our dividend, is a whole number, this is where the decimal would normally fall. Now we need to shift this decimal two times to the right. One, two. Wow, well this problem seems easier. 100 divided by 20. I think I can even do that mentally. Let's see, 100 divided by 20. That's five. Hey, that's the same answer we got when we divided one divided by 20 hundredths. Now let me explain why that works. So earlier, when we were dividing one dollar by 20 hundredths, the answer was five. Here's our dollar, and we are breaking it apart by 20 hundredths, and we got five. Now when we rewrote the problem and shifted the decimal, the new problem became 100 divided by 20. Here's our 100, as in 100 cents or 100 pennies. And we found we repeatedly subtract 20 pennies each time. So instead of thinking of $1, we're thinking about 100, as in 100 cents. 100 cents divided by 20 is also 5. So boys and girls, remember, today and every single day, you can make dividing with decimals easier by moving them to make whole numbers. Just remember, you need to compensate. Whatever you do to one number, you need to do to the other number.